Welcome to Twisted News. I'm Andrew, and today we have two insane stories about different crash sites. In the first, we've got more to tell you about the ever-evolving Las Vegas UFO crash, and then we'll get into all the harrowing details about the Amazon plane crash where a bunch of kids survived for over 40 days in the jungle. Get ready for Scary Mysteries Twisted News. Number 1. Las Vegas UFO Update Chances are you've probably heard about the UFO crash in Vegas where after, a family then claimed to have seen aliens running around their backyard. If you haven't heard of it, then this story is a must watch. And if you have, I want to lay it all out for you here because there's a lot of moving parts and new news coming out that I know you'll find interesting. To help jog your memory real quick about the event, in the early hours of May 1st of this year, a large bright object was seen in the night sky over Vegas as witnessed by several people, including a cop who was out on patrol and who happened to catch it on his body camera. Shortly after that, a young man named Angel called 911 to report that he and his family had two creatures in his backyard. They were around 8 to 10 feet tall with huge glowing eyes, and they believed that they were aliens. The story caught the attention of many, with a lot of people being divided about whether or not it was real. And now, there's been a decent amount of updates about the incident. For starters, several more neighbors have now come forward saying that that night, they also saw a huge fireball-like object falling from the sky just moments before hearing its loud crash. Some of these people have also shared their ring camera footage that captured the audio of the crash. And so at the very least, between that footage, eyewitness accounts, and the cop capturing the ball of light on his own camera, it appears there is no doubt there was something in the sky that night. Several videos have since began circulating on social media regarding the possible alien creature caught on cam. The YouTube channel Chaos Moogle shared a video where he said several ring camera videos from the neighborhood were shared by their respective owners, and in one of them was an image of an alien with a huge head, slimy olive green skin, and big black eyes. It's of course not confirmed if this image was legit, but it does fit the description of the creature Angel saw. News reporters were also able to show aerial footage of the family's backyard. And in it, a huge round impression left back there is still visible to the eye. To the right of the impression was the forklift where the aliens allegedly hid, as described by Angel's family. There have been other TikTokers who posted videos analyzing the video Angel shared. Aside from highlighting the suspected silhouettes beside the forklift and pointing out the weird movements and silhouettes on the outside part of the fence, one TikToker also questioned if a still from the video captured another unidentified being standing on the left side of the frame, partly a few steps away and in front of the forklift. From the still they shared, it looked like a creature with weird colored skin. Most of the comments, however, complained about the quality of the videos posted that pertained to the alien crash site. However, some reiterated that the blurriness of the videos probably resulted from the inexplicable phenomenon Angel described in his own video, which we also mentioned in our previous narration. Angel shared that right after hearing the loud crash, his surroundings seemed to suddenly look blurry. It wasn't his actual eyesight, but as if there was some sort of invisible force field. The same effect, if it were real, was probably picked up by the video cameras as well. People are also questioning why the news media is going all out on this incident now, despite it happening more than a couple months ago. Some speculated that it's due to the fact that several whistleblowers who had careers in the Air Force spoke out about the covert government operations happening with UFOs or UAPs, them retrieving debris from crash sites, studying these recovered items in secret bases, and trying to reverse engineer the technology. And we discussed this in detail about a month ago, so check that out if you're interested. 
Interestingly, there could be some truth in that because residents in Angel's neighborhood claim that after the incident, they saw several black SUVs driving around the area, which some believed were what we commonly refer to as the men in black. These people are responsible for making sure no foreign or unknown debris, or perhaps even creatures, are left behind, and that those who have seen them keep quiet about the situation. There were several official-looking men going into Angel's house dressed in black suits, so this could be real. A news outlet even began to report that Angel's family had started to ghost everyone, leaving people and the media unanswered. This further fueled speculation that the men in black had gotten to them. However, as if to respond to these so-called accusations, Angel posted a video on TikTok on June 12 saying that everything on TV is fake, especially the news channels. While seemingly walking around the front lawn of their family home, Angel reiterated that he'd already shared everything he wanted to say, leaving the public to their opinion whether they believe his story or not. He also said that he suffered anxiety attacks and depression over the incident. He ended his video by saying he just wants to go back to being normal, asking people to just move on and forget about it. Apparently, strangers have been visiting their home, trying to get a glimpse of the supposed crash site. It's not yet clear if Angel will push through with posting the Part 2 video on his YouTube channel. As of the writing of this, no update has been uploaded. It's also interesting to note that on June 10th, he also posted a TikTok that he had received offers from the Discovery Channel and Netflix to do a documentary regarding their experience. Yet, in that same statement, he also prefaced it by writing, Part 2 is coming, referring to the follow-up video he said he'd make and post on YouTube. But for now, we're not yet sure just what to expect in the following days and weeks regarding this incident. We can only wish Angel and his family the best because what they saw and experienced could be traumatic. I hope they perhaps caught more on camera, a clear image of an alien, and that soon we may get the most interesting documentary ever because of it. One that shows us once and for all that aliens are real and they're here. Number 2. Kids Missing in Jungles Survive 40 Days Humans have been known to thrive in different situations under strenuous conditions for unexpectedly long amounts of time. Stories of survival throughout history have fascinated us, as they can be inspirational and humbling. This incident that happened recently is one of the most tragic yet inspiring survival stories to come out in recent years, the details of which are pretty insane. On May 1st of 2023, The Cessna U-206G station air was flying across the Colombian Amazon jungle for a 95-minute flight. In it were three adults, including the pilot and four children. Pilot Hernando Morales was flying, Yarapuri indigenous leader Herman Hernandez and Magdalena Valencia, along with her children, Leslie, who was 13, Solany, who was 9, Tien, who was five, and Kristen, who was 11 months. To bring them to safety as their community fell into the hands of a violent criminal group. But just about a half hour into the flight, the plane experienced technical problems that led to its almost fatal crash into the dense Amazon jungle. Pilot Morales managed to send a distress call to the air traffic control system of Colombia, and shortly after that, the plane went down. Rescuers knew the rough area where the emergency had taken place. While they tried to locate the crash site as soon as they could, it took them a couple weeks. Moving along the ground was difficult in the dense jungle, and the thick canopy made it hard for airplanes to see what was actually happening on the ground. Eventually, though, they found the plane, and inside were the deceased bodies of the three adults. Magdalena's children, however, were nowhere to be found. It didn't take long for the Colombian Special Operations soldiers to notice that the children left behind clues that made them think they could actually still be alive. A baby bottle, a small pair of shoes, 
and tiny footprints leading out into the dense trees. The search for the kids set out in all directions from the crash site. 150 soldiers and dogs scoured the land and it lasted for about three more weeks until June 9th when searchers, aided by the sound of baby Christine's cries, finally located the children. They were about a three-hour walk away from the crash site itself. And amazingly, all four of the children were alive, although they were emaciated. They managed to survive for 40 days alone out there. Indigenous leader Lucho Acosta later shared that when they found the children, they were weak and extremely exhausted. In fact, they could no longer walk any further, which may have been a blessing in disguise as when you were lost, it's important to stay in one location if you can, as it increases your chances of being found. The children received great praise from their rescuers and the public for how they were able to survive in the jungle for that long. They lauded 13-year-old Leslie for her bravery and smart thinking as she was able to take care of her younger siblings despite her age and the circumstances they were in. Her family later shared that she has experience being in the forest, and ultimately, that familiarity aided in them being able to find sustenance. They had taken some fruit and flour from the plain which they ate. When that was gone, they scavenged for seeds, which was enough. Their grandmother Maria was overjoyed to learn the news about her grandchildren's whereabouts. She expressed her desire to see and be with them as soon as possible. The children were immediately looked after by doctors before they were flown out by air ambulance by the Colombian Air Force. They were brought to the Military Transport Air Command located in Bogota on Saturday morning, June 10th. The survival of these children is incredible. Not only did they survive living in the jungle for 40 days, but they also had to face the fact that they probably saw their mother pass away as well as the other two adults they were with. Hopefully the kids are able to get the help they need, not only to regain their physical strength, but also to face and heal from the trauma they experienced from the crash. So there were a couple of freaky news stories that we have for you guys today. For a free trial of bonus content, you got to go check us out at patreon.com slash scary mysteries for a huge library of exclusive videos, plus a new one coming out each week. We appreciate getting your support. It helps us continue on. Thanks for tuning in today. I'll see you soon.